Hey guys, it's your coach Amanda and I wanted to check in with you today, get a little discussion going about how to start figuring out your meal plan, how it's going to look to you in real life following the 21 day fix extreme. So if you're in one of my challenge groups, which you are, you've got a calendar similar to this that I have made you and I hope you have followed the 8 million times I have told you to print it out because trust me, it will help you. I want you to print it out and put it somewhere you can see it, your bathroom mirror. I personally put mine right on the fridge. That way I can see my progress and cross things off as the month goes along, right? Now you can see that each day I have included little things for you to check off to make sure that you're getting your work done, the things you need to do. So it says what the workout is, that you drank your Shakeology, super important in my opinion, and that you checked in the group. Those are literally how I lost all 95 pounds and kept it off, by doing those three things every day. My workout, my shake, and the support of the group. Okay, that's what's kept me healthy. I haven't been injured, knock on wood. I haven't been super sick. I've been able to keep going all while raising two kids during the day and working full-time nights. And this weight loss has stayed off now over two years. And I think that is because I've done it the right way, slow and steady and strong, all right? And that's what I'm here to share with you guys. So print your calendar and also make sure, email your before photos and measurements to your coach Amanda uh, before the group starts. Why? Because I can't tell you how many times I've had challengers, <coughs> excuse me, say, oh my gosh, I lost 13 pounds and I half-assed this program. I wish I had taken the photos I would love to see, but I was too scared. Or, I took the photos, but they made me so upset that I deleted them. No, no, because you know why? Sometimes we're looking for some crazy number in our head that we won't necessarily see, but maybe you lost five pounds of fat and you gained six pounds of muscle. If you see a plus one in the first week, are you gonna quit? You might. That's why I'm not gonna let you measure. But if you did, you might not realize you had also lost six pounds of fat. That's the only reason it showed just one. And all you have to do is look at those pictures to see the change. And sometimes, even to this day, I can't see it. My weight has stayed the same for a year now. And when I'm working for a bikini competition and sending those pictures to my coach, she's able to say, oh my gosh, girl, look at how much more toned your arms are. Or look at your thighs, they're really toning up, your butt's lifting. Those are things that if I was just looking at a scale, I wouldn't see. And sometimes even looking at the pictures, I can't see. So listen to your coach, print the calendar, take the measurements, take the photos, and email them, amandanoddings at me.com. All right, what comes next? Um, we need to figure out our formula. So down here on the bottom, I've included these little boxes to put your colored containers in, and that's going to just kind of help you out. Now the 21 Day Fix has two nutrition options. One is the standard plan, or what I just call the regular, and the other is the countdown to competition, which I call CDC. So you can see here, I kind of coded each day. Countdown to competition, countdown to competition, regular. Countdown to competition, countdown to competition, regular. So since we are gonna follow this plan, if we are, um, that would just help you keep track of which way you eat, and you're gonna do two low carb days, and one regular day or a higher carb day and that is kind of called carb cycling. So what it does is it keeps your body guessing, it gives it a good amount of fuel to work and get a boost for a day and then you deplete those carbohydrate stores for a couple for a day or two and then that kind of gets your metabolism going into overdrive to burn some fat and then boom you refeed it. That's going to give you the energy to get through your day, your nights at work, whatever you're doing, be a good wife, be a good friend, be a good coworker, be a good mother. Whatever's going on in your life, you need fuel. Do not Please don't make me say it again. Do not think that you're just gonna eat in the lowest calorie bucket and get the best results. I'm just gonna cheat the system, I'm gonna eat way lower and I'm gonna get way better results. This is not true. That is like the best way to undermine your results. You need to fuel your body for it to do what you're asking it to do and that is build lean, sexy muscle and trim the fat. If you wanna be able to perform and look good and have your muscles restore themselves and have energy, you need to give your body good, clean fuel. And that's what we're doing with our Shakeology and our containers. So, how do you figure out the formula? That's the end of my soapbox, I promise. 
So here's the formula. I wrote it down for you because it would be easier to see. If you have the traditional version, you got one of these awesome books. You can see I have well worn and beat the crap out of this book. Look at the inside. I've even reworked the formula a few times. You might not have this if you got an all access beach body on demand challenge pack. You can get this when you go into 21 Day Fix Extreme workout on beach body on demand it will say program materials at the top it'll say workouts and program materials click on that and you'll see the countdown to competition this entire meal plan book is all in there in pdf form you can print it you can access it you can bookmark it and look at it every day whatever you need to do and it has this formula in it on page four okay but for the sake of this video we're going to use my nice big fancy um, notebook so you can see so let's figure it out for me to show you so your weight 165 times either 11 12 or 13 based on activity level when I first did this program I chose 13 because in my mind I'm very busy I have an active job I run around the hospital I lift patients and I'm very active and then I'm also mom and I have long days but when I was personally talking to Autumn, we talked about this, and she told me that unless you're manual labor, heavy construction, lifting, sweating, swinging a hammer, carrying concrete, something all day, then you're a 12. You are a busy, whatever it calls it in the book, um, moderate lifestyle. So I read light housework and on your feet part of the day, and I thought, oh no, I'm way harder than that. Active lifestyle says manual labor and on your feet all day. Well, I'm on my feet all day, but I'm not actually doing physical manual labor. So as much as I want to eat under times 13, I'm times 12. So here we go, 165 times 12 equals 1980. So that is your caloric baseline. Your weight times your activity level is your caloric baseline. So that is how much calories I need a day to kind of maintain my weight. 1980 so almost 2,000 calories and I will be cruising along pretty good but my goal is to lean out and tone up a little so we're gonna take it a step further and we're gonna say plus 450 because we are burning that when we do these workouts at least so we're gonna count for that and that's gonna put us at for me that makes it 2430 so now I'm up to 24 30 calories I get a day nice right except that I want to lose so if I was um, not doing the workouts and just focusing on the nutrition I could stop and use that number but that's quite a lot if I was nursing a nursing mom I might want to just leave that number right there I would probably still lose but I don't want to short myself on food and calories for my little baby if I was nursing which I was for 10 months of this program of following these containers and I still managed to lose and keep off a ton of weight so it works 2430 and then we're gonna go minus the calorie deficit is 750 and what that means is if you remove 750 calories a day over the course of a week it ends up to enough to lose two pounds because you're always gonna have to be in a slight calorie deficit to lose weight People will think if they want to just subtract tons of calories and eat really low that they will get those results, but like I said, they won't. And um, when you end up with this number, this is going to give you a natural calorie cycling function. For instance, if I have two yellows today and I fill them with two pieces of toast, tomorrow I use sweet potatoes, the next day I have a, a chicken wrap for lunch and um, some brown rice with dinner. Uh, the next day I have those two yellows are peas and carrots, right? My calories won't be exactly the same each day, even though I'm filling that yellow. But the overall nutrition will be. So that keeps your body guessing and keeps it from getting into a rut. And I promise you, this is part of the most dynamic part of this program. You don't have to log it in, a, in an app. You don't have to count the calories and figure out the macronutrients and some of the most stressful and complicated things about... Um, losing weight and trying to track your food is how difficult and time-consuming it is. This makes it easy. You're just going to fill up your containers to the right amount per day. So here's what I've got, okay? The regular, so my total need, sorry I didn't give you the final number, is 
1680 for me. So in that PDF or your book, you'll see your calorie chart. So for 1680, that's where I have that little highlight. That's how many containers I get a day. Okay, so I get four greens. I get three purples. I get all these things. This is not the same formula as the regular 21 day fix. So make sure that you're using this right one if you're doing 21 day fix extreme. Now, to take that to the next level, if you want, which I will be doing with you guys, countdown to competition. This is Autumn's competition eating plan. This is how you're gonna make this 21 days really count and get you phenomenal results. This is optional, but if you want to try it for a week, I suggest you do and see how you feel. So this is a different chart. It came in an insert in the regular package. It's in your on-demand in that program files under countdown to competition, okay? And <laughs> for my calories, which is 1680, I have the containers for a regular day and a countdown day. So we're gonna add those to my chart. So I get four greens both days. Lots of veggies. I get three fruits on my regular day, none on the countdown. I get four proteins on my regular day, and I get seven, seven on the countdown days. I get three carbs on my regular day, and I only get one on the countdown day, but it's okay because I'll be getting all that extra protein those days. I get one blue and one orange on, and then on the countdown days, eh, eh. <laughs> and then I get four teaspoons, and then I get three, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So here I have all my containers all decked out, and you can see regular plan, countdown plan, right? So, if you follow this little code up here in the corner, I'm gonna say okay. So the first day um, is a countdown to competition. We're gonna start it right off. I'm gonna have four different servings of vegetables, seven servings of protein, one small carbohydrate, and don't worry, you actually get more carbohydrates from that through your veggies. They're there, they're just the really good kind. And then three teaspoons of oils and that's going to lubricate your system and keep your body moving keep you functioning and give you energy so don't skip those okay you need those to make this work so that means like coconut oil in my coffee in the morning or um, mayo in a wrap or um, almond butter with an apple or with celery sticks right mm -hmm. nut butters so now you have that, you have your calendar, you've emailed your measurements and wait to your coach, and you're armed and dangerous. I'm gonna give you the uh, grocery list or the food group list, you can print that out, and I'm gonna put this on my calendar with the food group list right behind it, and I'm gonna be set to go. And every day I know exactly what workout's on the agenda because I have it right in front of me where I can't hide from it, hang it on the fridge or wherever you put yours. I hope this helps you guys. I hope you're fired up and ready to go. If you have questions on how to follow this eating plan, post them below, email me, amandanoddings at me.com. I will help you. That's what I'm here for. We can do this and we can get great results and I'm really excited to do this with you guys and do it together. All right? Love you guys. And it doesn't want to turn off. I'll do it.